Hi, welcome to another Cutting the Caboose. And this is the first of one, the first of a series then, or the first of a change for the channel, when I'm going to start dealing with things I didn't, I, I've, I've been torn about for a while, and that's um, the transgender changes. So um, here we go. This is one about having my lips done. Uh, this is one which is, it's got needles in it and it's covering my lips. I've recently had lip filler, which I'm absolutely delighted with. And part, and it's all to do with, as, my, as I'm losing weight, my, my facial structure is changing and I want to look less like a man in, in a nutshell. And this is one of those steps where hopefully you can see my mouth has been significantly feminized by the procedure you are about to see in a few seconds. But transgender issues weren't really something that I was going to cover in the channel. I didn't want it to sort of define me. But having been inspired by some other video bloggers, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting asked, if I'm honest, quite a lot by curious people. So, you know what? <clears throat> Fine, it's on the table. So, yeah, here we go. This is me and one of the steps I'm taking to... Um, Feminize my face. Ah, enjoy. That's Carly. Say hi, Carly. Hiya. So, uh, yeah, this is going to happen. So, and I can't actually remember what's going to happen, but I'm hoping Jeremy, who is normally an absolute knob, but I'm hoping that today, you know, he doesn't mind me saying that, he keeps calling me he, so it seems fair. I'm I hoping. The needles. He just has the needles. And every bit, uh, yeah, but he, he fucking jabs me in the face with icy spray on my nerves. So um, I'm hopefully, hopefully Jeremy will explain what he's doing. As we go. As we go. He's been dying for this opportunity for ages since the last time. <laughs> right, I'm going to hand over to somebody else who's going to hold the camera while I'm... God, I don't know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, now I look like a clown, it yeah. seems. Which, um, um, a numb clown, because I can't feel my face anymore. Now, I kind of look a bit, it's tingling. So that's, so that's happening. It's, it's a good look. What, what, what do you think that's a good look? I think, um, I think you're not so clever with your lipstick. <laughs> it's like I put a lipstick on the meringue. <laughs> <laughs> good, good times. Yeah, it's a numbing cream. Apparently it's a very good numbing cream. Yes, it is a very good numbing cream. Okay, one. There it is. And it's something like 20%. No. Just Strong. 20% of the num. It's got a lot of nums in it. Good. Yeah, num num num. <laughs> so, what we're going to try and do is get more fullness to my top lip from the front. It looks okay. Right. From the front, it looks then beautiful. If we come around to the side, see? Ooh, relaxed projection. So the aim here is to get rid of some of that shallowness from the side and leave the front more or less alone. Like Jeremy's hands. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, so we're going to remove it. Mm. That's a good one. That's so weird. I can't really feel that. I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. to go through it. That was the plan, wasn't it? How long did you stay numb for? It's going to stay numb for a good couple of hours. Oh, okay. So it is like dental anesthesia. Mm -hmm. How deep is it penetrated? Well, the anesthesia is going right through, isn't it? The whole lip. You yeah, it's going to it? absorb into the skin somehow. It's, it's, Emila is a type of topical anaesthetic, but it's nowhere near as good as this one. This is really very hooked on stuff. Is that good? 
course. Yeah. It's got some other stuff to go like this. Smell it? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do a little bit on the bottom. Are you? Hmm. Okay. Surprise. It's a medium number. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Numb? Feel numb? I can't feel anything yet. Yeah. No. So we use short needle as opposed to candle, which we used candle to do the ma marionettes, didn't we? Yes. So now we're going to use just the needle just to roll. Small amount of this look forward and out. Put a little bit in the bottom because the bottom looks a bit empty to hydrate it. Why don't you do a YouTube channel on how to do cosmetic surgery? DIY guide. They're not a channel, channel just, yeah. Because everyone will do it then. <laughs> I'll be held responsible. You can buy this stuff on the internet. Really? Yeah. Wow. Don't do that. Don't mm -hmm. stab yourself in needles for one second. Okay, so the needle is very short. Uh, is that focused? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to start on the bottom. I'll put a little bit just to bring a little bit of plumpness to this. Is it going in? Yeah. No, I don't know, you can't. Mm. That's such a close up. It's a bit too close, I'd say. So we massage that, and it's just given a nice border to the lower lip. So it's going to put a bit on the top here. You don't need to put too much definition because you've got tattooed. Yeah. Lips have got five compartments. They got the tubicle from there to there, two, two tubicles on the bottom, three tubicles on the, the top. I've heard that word before, tubicles. I mean... Mm -hmm. A little... It's an embryological term. In an embryo, they develop as a tubicle, a growth compartment, if you like. And they join together, and that's why you would get cleft down there because you've got one in the middle, one compartment in the middle, on the upper, one on either side, which join in the fetus, in the embryo. Fetus is called The testing, huh? And the way the lip joins together, in the middle on the top, the tubicle fits in the depression, which should be on the bottom. So you've got ups and downs, up, down, up, down, flat, round, pelvis, pelvis. It's like, it's like the cupid's bow, is this the structure of the left hand line? The cupid's bow is because you've got the, fr the frenulum here. Filter me. The joins. So, mirror for the boss.
Hmm. Look, you're doing right, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Turned up. Turned down. Good Where are we seeing it, girls? I don't think the top needs much more than that, do you? That's a side leg. Because I'm squeezing it, I'm making them bleed as well, am I? Oh, yeah, of course. So I'm massaging this. And I'm perforating the skin, so you're going to get... Okay. Can you... Wet. Let's go. Chin next. No, chin next. Just wet. No. I think they're serious. I love that chin. My designer chin. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say a few cheeks. Yeah. Next. Honestly, getting my lips then, tattoo of lips, is at the border, at the threshold of my pain. Yeah. Realistic? Yeah. Yeah? They don't look as if they don't belong to you. Wow, yeah. Shiny, yeah, this is all that. Shiny, which is good, shiny in a good way because hydration is a sign of youthfulness as well. Mm -hmm. You look at their lips, they're, well, maybe not rocks because she needs them, but the, you know, you're 14 when you get your plumpus lips. So when the hormones kick in and they're not, they haven't got those cracks and lines as you age, they dehydrate. Am I even on this side? That side? I don't think you're on. I seem to have a line there. I don't have it there. Yeah, but is that related to your lip or is that related to you? Uh, to you? I feel some guy on it. Check your lip. I've got some there, I've got some, so we can put it in when you want. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's hard to tell actually. Could do this. Shall I sit you up? Yeah. The left looks a little like it's got something else going on there that isn't there. I mean, you've got these folds, but when you put the cheek in, it'll pull these up a little bit. That's mm -hmm. true. So you've got that, which I can't really get rid of because that's coming from, that's not your lip, that's coming from here. So if, when we put a cheek there, that's what's going to happen. So we'll lift that. But have a good look now at those. Be critical because I've got some left. And <coughs> I know, it's hard. For me, me, they look fine. Yeah. When I'm looking at you. Girls? I think we're going to Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Very nice. Can you see asymmetry? 
Can you see Only, symmetry? I can see just a little more here and here, but I don't think that's the left. That's it, that's, yeah. You that's sleep it. on this side, Yeah. and you do this, look. See? And so you're going to get that crease. Maybe we can put, I can put some more in there. Shall I lift? I can, I've got some in there. Let's no, put it there. I, no, let's put it there. Go to the cheeks. What? Let's wait for the brain doing the cheeks. Let's balance your mouth now. Put a little bit more. Are oh, you seeing that as well? Have you seen it there? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What I'm seeing is it's heavier here. <coughs> Skin's heavier here, isn't it? Yeah. Not so, hmm? not anywhere near as much as that, is that? Yeah. And that's related not to lips, but it's related to gravity. Never trust your hands here, Steve. Oh, get to yourself. I did, felt it. <laughs> and the unknown You're going to jump now anyway. <laughs> That's you. You just suck yourself out. No, you aren't, man. No, because I put it right in the corner of your mouth just now. Did what? I not? Uh, just stick me in. Oh, you need to do He's a jazz dentist. Just give me his berry. Who was them there? No, I'm just really hardcore. No, you're not. <laughs> I think they look really nice. They're not. They're not exaggerated. You need water. You know. They're not exaggerated. They're not bruised. They're gonna swell a little. They come back down. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a step. It's yeah. a step that we've spoken about. Baby steps that we're gonna take. But the idea, long term, is to do this and then see what works. And if we have an idea for surgery, if we want to. Step more permanently, so we can, we can try things, take a chance to try stuff out. Even if you have surgery, lots of people that have facelifts uh, still need cheeks. I missed them. Chicken pasta. Ah. Cool. Okay. So there you go. All done. Don't fit with them tonight. Okay. Uh, Product is really good, really smooth. I can't feel any lumps or bumps in that at all. It's a superb product. So get on with it. And, um... So that was me having filler in my lips. So this is um, so. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm really happy with the results. By the way, the side view. I need to get a side picture of this. I'm so happy. But what I'm trying to do here is um, I'm going to have I'm going to be having quite a lot of surgery on my face. Um, it's called facial feminization surgery, which will help correct some of the um, changes that happened uh, due to testosterone. Now, what this filler allows me to do is try things first. So before I commit to having the bone work done and the surgery, and besides filler, well, I'll, that's you can't do that easily through surgery anyway. Um, then I can try things out. So the next one you're going to see is me having my cheeks done, which will be happening shortly. So so here we are. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe below. I hope you like them. I'm I'm really happy with them, and I'm a little bit nervous about doing these if I'm honest. But hey, what the hell? Let's let's let's, let's get it all out there. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Didn't hurt, by the way.